It's hard to describe what it's like to be at a Dir Shusi Mashas and dance with 18,000 people who are celebrating, learning, reviewing, and knowing Torah. As I was dancing at the Siyam Ashas, I noticed to my right there was an elderly man dancing with what seemed to be four generations of his family members, sons, a grandson, a great-grandson, and there was also a non-Jew in the mix. I was so moved just by watching them dance together, and I was especially taken by this old man. He was radiating with happiness. I just wanted to talk to him and hear his story. So after they finished dancing, I approached him and asked him if he could talk a few minutes. And that's how I first met Mr. Applebaum. My life started as a kid running around in Bedford Stuyvesant. I was from and not from. I came from a from house. I always saw Shabbos in Yontif, although I didn't know what I was doing. I really had very little Jewish education. I come out and knew nothing. December the 7th, 1941, Japan pulled a raid on Pearl Harbor and Beverly Roosevelt declared war against Japan. They started to recruit soldiers and I was one of them. He was trained as a communications officer and was sent to this American-controlled Japanese island called Guadalcanal. And that's where it all happened. Around 6 p.m., it started to get dark. And as it got dark, Japanese bombers swooped down on our area, dropped their bombs and left. I killed about six soldiers on our camp. Within a minute or two, I lost the power of my legs and my hands. My hands were like two pieces of meat. I look at my hands, I had no feeling in my hands. And it's very scary, very scary. He was choking from the dust and the debris surrounding him. And as he's trying to cough it all out, he turns upward and he talks to Hashem for the very first time from the deepest depths of his soul. I said, Hashem, give me back my hands. I can't hear, feel my hands. Please, give me back my hands. Please, eventually, when I end up being able to serve you, I will then be activating myself to serve you. A few seconds later, miraculously, Mr. Applebaum regained sensation in his hands and feet. When the war was finally over and he returned home, Mr. Applebaum did not forget his promise. When he walked into the Young Israel for the first time, he noticed on the bulletin there were Torah classes available. I started to take a course. He says, where did this all come from? This is something I never, I never saw before. I started to learn and learn and learn. I didn't stop learning. 75 years later, he is still learning nonstop. In fact, Mr. Applebaum lives in an assisted living home right now. And he told me that staff members sometimes come to his room and ask him, Mr. Applebaum, you know there's bingo downstairs in the activity room. Why don't you join everybody else and play? Mr. Applebaum proudly points to his forum and the bookshelf and he says, This is my activity room. I'm constantly talking to God. I'm constantly learning to such a point that I, I'm like, addicted. He told me that the first thing he does when he wakes up in the morning, as soon as he wakes up, he has this song that he sings Moida'ani to Hashem, and his family, his children, his grandchildren, his great-grandchildren, they all know this song. And he started singing it to me. I was curious to find out how Mr. Applebaum merited to live such a long life in such incredible health, Bali Hara. I asked him, I said, Mr. Applebaum, how are you so healthy at almost 100 years old? He pointed to the Asha Yatsa sign right outside of his bathroom and he said, for the past 50 years, I haven't made a bracha of Asha Yatsa outside of a sitter. I recognized the miracles that had just happened in my body. And he said to me, that is the greatest health insurance policy you can ever buy. You connect yourself with Hashem, and you have a passport to Gan Eden. You have a passport to Olam Haba. I had one last question for Mr. Applebaum before I left. I turned to him and I asked him, who was that man, that non-Jewish Asian man who was dancing with you and your family at the Siam? Mr. Applebaum smiled and he said, that was my aid. When Mashiach will come, the Goyesha world finally realized what the Amos is, they will also dance with me. I said to myself, get in here. Let's dance together. Let's make believe Mashiach is here. Thank <laughs> you.